like, you know? I just a juvenile one. They actually get up to like three or four pounds big in the title freezer. But we're turning in July, so um, you don't typically get any big fish until August and September. Let this guy go. Big chop. Much better. Here in the Tidal Fraser River, there are two common fish species that you can encounter during the summer months. There are female chop and northern pike minnow. The two look really similar because they actually belong in the same family, the middle family. Um, they look very similar in body color, body shape, and body size, but there are very little and distinct differences that you can look at to tell them apart. The first difference that we're going to look at is the jaw size. Female chub tend to have a very small mouth, whereas northern pike minnow tend to have a much larger mouth. The jaw tend to extend to the back of their eyes. The size of the jaw is actually a really good feature that you can use to figure out what kind of food the fish is eating. For example, female chub, because they have a very small mouth, they tend to eat small insects and algae. Whereas northern pike middle has a much larger mouth, so they tend to be predatory and they feed on small fish such, such as um, juvenile salmon and sculpin. The second difference that we're going to look at is the head and body ratio. Female chub tend to have a very small and short head, whereas northern pike minnow tend to have a much longer head. These minnows are often called whitefish by most anglers in the Tidal Fraser River, but that's actually incorrect because a true whitefish actually belongs in the Simona family, and you can usually identify it by looking for the adipose feet. <laughs> 